Seals are amazing. They are mammals that prefer to spend their lives in and around the waters of cooler places in the world. Seals are pinnipeds, and there are 33 species of pinnipeds alive today, including various species of seals, lions, and walruses. The biggest seals, elephant seals, can grow to be 3,700 kilograms in mass. That's over 60 meats. Seals do most of their hunting underwater where it's often quite dark and it can be quite murky which makes it very difficult to see but seals are able to catch their prey without seeing them and the way they do this is i think amazing they can actually sense the path that a fish has taken through the water minutes after it has taken it how do they sense the path that fish took well let's talk about it Seals and other pinnipeds are semi-aquatic animals. They don't have legs, instead they have two front flippers and a tail. They're therefore quite cumbersome on land, but they are extremely quick and graceful underwater, where most species spend the majority of their time. They do spend some time on land, they sleep on land, and they give birth to their young on land. But other than that, they spend their lives in the water, including all of their hunting. But vision and sight aren't always ideal for hunting underwater. And when you're such a massive carnivorous mammal that needs to maintain a lot of body fat and blubber to be able to survive the cooler waters of the world, you need to be able to catch a lot of prey efficiently. Eyesight alone isn't really enough to do this, especially when it's dark or the water is murky. But fortunately for seals and pinnipeds, they have developed special tools to help them to detect their prey. They use their whiskers. Many mammals have whiskers. These are specialized hairs that grow out from around the nose area, above the eyes, the cheeks, and under the chin. Another name for whiskers is vibrissae. And vibrissae are not like normal hairs. They are much thicker, often they'll be longer, and they are much more sensitive in that in the skin, the follicle, the base of the hair, it's much more sensitive than other hairs. The follicles at the base of the whisker contain a blood sinus, which also contains heaps of sensory nerves. And this allows animals with whiskers to sense the environment around them. You might have noticed a cat using its whiskers to detect spaces that it can fit through, like doors or just narrow passageways. You might have also heard that you shouldn't give your cat a deep bowl to eat from that its whiskers will brush up against because it can actually get whisker fatigue where it's just sensory overload for it. You might think that I have whiskers, I have a beard, and whilst beard hairs are different to head hairs, they are nothing when compared to the whiskers of other animals. Anyway, in cats, the base of each individual whisker, there are between one and 200 nerve cells, which help them to sense the world around them. Mice and rats have far more sensitive whiskers, each hair having about 25,000 nerve cells at the base of it. But seals blow this number out of the water. At the base of each of their whiskers, around their nose area, each follicle contains upwards of 300,000 nerve cells, meaning seals' whiskers are at least 10 times more sensitive than the most sensitive land mammals, and their whiskers are over a thousand times more sensitive than cat whiskers. What this means for seals is that they are able to detect tiny vibrations underwater. Let's talk about hydrodynamic trails. When a fish moves through the water, it is vibrating. It's using its fins and it's using its tail. Even if it's not vibrating, water is moving over it and filling in behind it as it passes through the water. And this leaves a trail. It is imperceivable by humans, but in some conditions, this trail can be left in the water for several minutes. It's a bit like if a fish were able to leave a trail of footprints, but 
without the footprints. It's leaving a trail behind it wherever it goes. We absolutely cannot detect it with our bodies, but it's a totally different story for seals whose whiskers are so sensitive, they can pick up the vibrational difference in the water where a fish has been. They can detect the trail that a fish leaves behind it and use it to find where the fish has gone. In 2001, a group of scientists tested what seals were capable of. They took a mini sub that was remote control and had it make arbitrary paths throughout the water, fairly random. And then they released a blindfolded seal to see if it could find it. And the seal was able to find the path that the submarine had taken and then follow the path until it found the mini sub. Other experiments have even shown that seals might be able to detect the size and speed of objects that they are tracking, which can help them to find fish and also might help them to find other seals, which might be helpful for pups in staying with their mothers. Personally, I cannot imagine how a seal views the world when it's underwater. It's totally foreign to me. Having an organ so sensitive that it can sense the path that a fish has taken minutes after it has passed by must be truly amazing. But for the seals, very helpful. I think it's really cool that different animals perceive the world around them in different ways than us humans. And I hope that that gives me a sense of empathy when relating to the people around me because they will also perceive the world through their own lenses and their own experiences. And that'll be different to the way I experience the world. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something and you found this video interesting. I'd love to know what you thought about it in the comments below and with that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to That's Pretty Cool for more videos like this, videos in which I hope to inspire a sense of wonder about the world around us because there are so many interesting things if we just ask questions and look a little deeper. Thank you once again for watching. Take care, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.